Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a glow effect in Premiere Pro. So as you can see, this is the effect we're gonna be creating. Real easy to do. Import your footage, then click on your footage, and you wanna duplicate it up one layer. Easiest way is to hold Alt and drag up. You can also hit Control C, which copies it and makes sure that video two is selected, not video one. Control V, it will paste it there as well. Once you're on your second video, you're gonna to want to go to the Lumetri color panel or search for the Lumetri color video effect on other color and correction and drag that on. And then the color panel will be over here. So either side, you'll then wanna go into the curves portion of it. And you'll see that there's the square over here. I'm gonna use this one. Grab right around the middle, drag straight down. And what we're doing here is we are selecting the highlights. I like to grab this over a little bit. We don't wanna peek anything. If you peek something, it'll uh, come across as a little bit worse, which is peaking would mean that shoots up to the top. This is looking good. You can see we have a good solid grab on a lot of the highlights here. Maybe even goes here a little bit. And so now all we have are the highlights. Then we're gonna go up in our effect controls over to the opacity down here to blending mode. And we're gonna turn on screen. And you're gonna see it's pretty much the same, a little bit of distortion on the blues on the top, but that's okay for this effect because what we're doing next is we are going to be using blur. So we're gonna look for the blur. It is under, uh, it's gonna be down here under blur and sharpen. We're gonna use Gaussian blur for this. It's one of the higher, more robust blurs. So we're gonna take this, and drag it onto that night downtown footage, go on down. It'll be at the bottom of this Lumetri color panel, so you can actually use this little drop-down arrow to hide Lumetri color. Gaussian blur. We're going to bring it up now, and you're going to see we get a good solid blur here. Bring it up to something like maybe 160. Say repeat edge pixels. You'll see if you don't, it'll stop at the edge here, so we want to repeat that so it, it fills out everything. And then we have basically our blur. Our blur has been created and will look pretty nice no matter where we are in the footage. We can also do... Um, we can lower the opacity of the top layer if we want, and that will lower the amount of the blur. So if we like a really strong blur, we can keep it up there. Raising this up will expand the blur out and sort of lighten it out. So, you know, you just play with these two and you'll get a blur that looks pretty good for the footage and pretty easy to do. Quick pro tip, if you want to have a little bit of fun, whoops, not the whole thing. If you want to have a little bit of fun, you can delete Gaussian blur off there and go with directional blur and then blur it like that. And what you're doing is you're gonna actually be blurring the highlights in a certain direction, can give like sort of a Saturday Night Live or like, you know, downtown city vibe to things. And it's really simple to do because all you've already created the effect. Now all you gotta do is just add a different type of blur onto it. That is how you create a glow effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see all of the new tutorials as they come up. If you want to keep learning with Premiere Pro, check out the course in the description below. It's a course that I created all about Premiere, and it'll make you a master by the end of it through tutorial-based learning. Thanks, everyone. Until next time, see ya.